Hey YouTube, Absent of Light here coming to you today with a little commentary video for you guys. So this video I'm not gonna really narrate the duels, I'm just gonna um, say some stuff. So yeah, that really I'm just gonna say some stuff. That's what I'm gonna talk about. But first things first, if you guys share my video, my last video, please make sure to pin me on Duel Network because a little complications occur. Um trying to keep track of people who share via they, they message me on um, YouTube. Um, I don't know what happened, it was acting really weird. Just me on um, Duel Network, it was a lot easier. But, yeah, I want to do a little commentary video for you guys because, first of all, I mean, I want guys to know, my dad profile's on YouTube. So, yeah, I want guys to know that. But, if you didn't share a video, you'll never see it. But, you will see it, actually. The second thing I want to tell you about, you will see it after the event. I decided I'll show my dad profile after the YCS. But for those who shared it earlier, get to know before the YCS, I guess, I don't know if you want to buy it. Before practice spikes, because I'm not gonna win. So I'm totally after the white going to win. Yeah, I'm not confident. I really think I'm gonna win this event. I'm doing really good. I'm making guts. My new Dark Wood build, I started today at 1500. I dropped down to 1300 to try and try out other builds. And I ended and I'm still playing right now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, around, I'm gonna say 1550, but I'm gonna say like 1620. Yeah, I'm very high rated. And I know you guys say the end doesn't matter and shit like that, but I truly just don't care about your opinion. Still know is a really good testing tool. I'm really high rating with doing that work. And I'm playing matches. So you guys never know if I'm at my match rate. Uh, sorry. My match rating. That's what I'm training. My single rating sucks. I don't play singles. Because mostly for this format, so many people said, oh my god, Dark Wolves. We're playing, of course, play Dark Wolves or singles. Of course, we want to play matches. And then. The bitch. So I am number thirteen on dueling network with Dark Worlds on matches. What's your excuse now? Oh, Dark Worlds are just no skill. What what that takes skill? I mean, unless you're playing Beast, Stun, Synchro, Fable, kind of march of big animals, and I don't know. That it's I don't know how to call it. Like it'll be in a school, that's broken ass card, and you can make a very skillful deck that uses Fable of Unicorn to control how many cards. Your opponent's hand and control with Jar Green and Reckless and the moves you make would definitely determine the outcomes. He has to be really skillful to play that. That is the only deck in Yu Gi Oh! that requires skill, like a lot of skill. Uh, uh, every single other deck that is played Fireface, Fire King, Gravekeepers, Mermails, uh, Gergia, there's really a lot of decks that are played, though. Yeah, Star Pros. They require so little, I almost have so little skill, because you still have to know how to play your deck, you still need to know how to build your deck, you still need to be able to react in certain situations. Should I summon my Falcon, should I summon Harry Sun Dragon, should I uh, activate my trap cards, my gear gear card to special summon two monsters, should I wait on a bad situation, should I summon Dragon Saga, should I big eye his monster, should I summon, uh, yeah, you see, you know what I'm trying to say, all decks require some type of skill. Sorry, I got cut off, but yeah, what I'm saying, Dark Worlds, no, every deck, most decks don't take skill, and your people's definition, but people think because Dark Worlds spam a lot, they something different that most decks don't do, it's completely skillless. Do you know how, there's DD for the Shadow Mirror, there's plenty of cards that Dark Worlds can fight over in matches, and even just playing singles, it's still no excuse to be a dick, but like, oh, I lost to a no-skill deck, and no, you lost because your deck was inferior, or maybe... You know, you probably play. Oh, sorry, I'm going on many different tangents, and this video is about to see in like three minutes. That's so much I want to talk about. Don't say, oh, I lost because of luck. This is bullshit luck. Nigga, you lost 2 0. That wasn't goddamn luck. You just suck. Suck a blame. But, this is something I really want to talk about in this video, so I'm just going to cancel out this topic and say my main topic. So, the main thing I want to talk about in this video is really just Dark Rules and how they suck. And they don't suck. I just, I was just kidding. And so many people say Dark Worlds are like, and they suck, and they take no skill. I, I don't want to mention that. The main thing I want to talk about is how people say Dark Worlds suck. And it's true. Dark Worlds have changed their place a lot, especially with card destruction ban, monster reborn. Especially in this version, if you have monster reborn, you only need one beige, maybe two, because you summon beige. They warn you. All right, I add that monster reborn gets back. When monster reborn gets snubs. I can search it for later. Monster War is broken. Card destruction obviously was ridiculous. Even Return was really good. That they banned that, but I'm happy they banned that to be honest, to be honest. So 
you really have to change your play style. So that you can't just continue playing. All right, since I grab one thing, I'm going to win. Because you're probably not going to win. All right, I grab my skill drink. I'm going to have a good game. Which is most of the time, it is true. But it's some decks can't get over that. They really can't. And maybe MSC, maybe Black Rose Dragon, Lance, or that it was that 1900 light, broken, rank 4 shit, Lance. A lot of that's important. Maybe that's get over it. So you need to change the place out. That's exactly what I did. What I did, personally, I used to do before Felgon came out, CG, is Zombie Stein abuse, which was pretty decent, but some decks still could easily get over Zombie Stein and two tribes because some defense still had a thousand defense points. Okay, most monsters can take it out. Now, I placed out a spell on boost, and that is broken. It, I think, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but you probably will, you will see it later. I talked about watch that how broken Felgon is. And while I said, what? Felgon is broken? Yes, Felgon is broken. It's 2800 attack, which is over most of all monsters, including other Dark Wars. I, mean, I can target with their graph, but they try to attack me. Play a Felgon to negate their graph, but to be unaffected by gates, I just win in battle. Literally, Felgon is broken for his own, every single deck. If heavy back row, alright, fellow guns can protect myself. Have no back row, alright, so now I have a one sided skill drain that also protects myself and you get once play dark level stuff. Fellow is just ridiculous. So I do this fellow gun, because that's why I run so many starter dragons. And that's why I run so many bages and foolish burial, because I want fellow gun as bad as possible. Have two fellows on the field, I've never ever, well, that's a lie, I've lost once when I have two fellows on the field because the key had compost and being this chain and torrential and get some fucking compost, that doesn't matter. So besides once, I, I've only lost once, but two Felgons on the field. Felgons are retardedly broke. It's ridiculous. So yeah, really changed Dark Wolves playstyle to Felgon Abuse is what I did. You need to adapt. A lot of people don't want to adapt, so they say Dark Wolves suck when they keep losing. You have to adapt your playstyle sometimes if you want to continue playing your deck you like. Anyways, this video is coming to an end. He did not make a miraculous comeback. I did win. He quits right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching it. Absence of Whiteout.